of his entire personal life. Because shortly after Pogba's last game for United, his agent Mino Raiola passed away, a man who meant the world to Pogba, and who had almost been like a second father figure to him, especially following his own father's passing in 2017. But Pogba's personal challenges didn't end there. Because one month before his last game for Manchester United, his home was burglarized, where his World Cup medal was stolen, and where he lost precious jewelry given to him by his mom. But none of that really bothered him. The thing that bothered him was the fact that both of his children were home at the time, in their beds, sleeping. And apparently the nanny who was at home had taken the children and locked herself in a room with them. And neither Pogba or his wife were at home at the time, since he was playing a Champions League game at Old Trafford. And he has gone on to describe this incident as one of his very worst nightmares. And shortly after this, when Pogba was in France, he was kidnapped by armed men carrying M16 rifles after being set up and betrayed by his own childhood friends. And they more or less held him hostage in an attempt to extort 13 million euros from him. And apparently, one of the masterminds and orchestrators behind this whole kidnapping and extortion was Pogba's own brother, Matthias, who also would go on to post videos on the internet threatening to reveal secrets about Paul Pogba including accusations of him hiring a witch doctor. I mean, this situation was just nuts. It was, it's so much more to this situation that I don't even have time to go into because it's just, it's just nuts. However, the situation ended with Pogba paying around 100,000 euros to the perpetrators. And his brother Matthias was charged, but later released by French prosecutors. Pogba has since openly spoken about the problems that money and fame brings, and how he even wishes that he didn't have money or fame anymore. How he at times doesn't even want to play football and just wishes he could be a normal human being. His Juventus teammate and fellow Frenchman, Adrien Rabiot, said that it's impossible to be a footballer when you have all of these personal things going on in your life. But the reality is also that Pogba's disciplinary issues and physical fitness contributed to his struggles. Because just two weeks after signing for Juventus, he would be injured again, keeping him out for two months. It wasn't until late February 2023, seven months after signing for Juve, that he played his first match. But just a week later, he was dropped from the squad by coach Max Allegri due to disciplinary reasons, when he had turned up late to a team dinner. And four days later, Pogba suffered another injury that kept him out for another month. And on the 14th of May 2023, when returning from that injury, Pogba lasted just 23 minutes on the pitch before he injured himself again. And with tears in his eyes, he would cover up his face as he exited the pitch. I think this was the moment where everything caught up to him. The passing of some of the most significant people in his life, traumatic events, and even betrayal by those standing closest to him. But rock bottom wasn't reached yet. Because on October 6th, 2023, Pogba failed a random drug test. And now six months later, he faces a four year ban from football. Pogba will be turning 31 in less than two weeks. And taking that into consideration, this might mean the end of his career. And I don't really know where I should stand in all of this. For instance, I wasn't a fan of all of his documentary, The Pogmentary, because that documentary didn't seem authentic at all. And to me, it's like, you should be focusing on training and reviving your career, not making a documentary to make yourself look good. But the reality is also, that I do not know Paul Pogba. So to be honest, it's not my place to judge him because I do not know how it feels to be in his shoes. To be that famous and that rich and have all that kind of pressure on you in the public eye. And on top of that, having to fear for yourself and your family because of it. And the reality is also that his haircuts, his dancing and his eccentric style was always gonna make him an easy target for the media. But I do believe that a lot of the criticism that he received for his on-pitch performances were just. But at the same time, how the world didn't take any consideration at all for his personal struggles was unjust. Because I remember when I talked about Emmanuel Adebayor's life, one of the most judged footballers by both the media and the fans. But when his true story was revealed, a lot of people could understand him. And Pogba has even admitted that he suffered from depression for a while when he was coached under Mourinho in United. And I'm not gonna sit here and make a sob story of his life, but I will respect both sides of the story. Because even if Paul Pogba's disciplinary issues have been obvious, 
I ask you watching the question, how do you stay disciplined when the media is killing you, when you go through depression and anxiety, the fear of not being able to keep your children or family safe, and lastly, having your childhood friends not only betray you, but even going as far as kidnapping you and publicly embarrass you to ruin your legacy. And on top of that, having your body not being as strong as it used to be, preventing you from doing the one thing that you loved. I don't know, my friends. All I know is that this is the final result of it all. Where maybe the greatest talent the beautiful game ever witnessed became crushed by its success and all the things that it brought with it. And if this really is the end for Paul Pogba, I hope that it's a lesson for everyone that money and fame isn't the answer. And although Pogba was very inconsistent, I still feel grateful for all the moments of brilliance that he gave us football lovers. And lastly, I hope that the footballer Paul Pogba, some way against all odds, can find his way back to the beautiful game. But above all of that, I hope that the human being Paul Pogba can find peace in his life. Uh, my brother, my sister, the reason why I bring this Paul Pogba in Palava for this particular platform is because Paul Pogba, uh, now one of those players, the way me, for example, I admire him so much. The, if you bow the player, he'd be very sweet. He gestured them and everything. But, if, you know, it looks so funny how a man becomes so popular, so rich, so famous, and in a twinkle of an eye, is down to zero. Well, we don't know what is actually happening, but I want to tell all of, let all of you out there know that such circumstances, you must always make sure that you have God by your side. You know, easy. Maybe Pogba be neglect a couple of things there, and maybe over neglect, you know, careless about some certain issues in a way, you will not really be good. But at the end of the day, my brother, my sister, I'll tell you when I say this, so, no, I bring this message now because uh, moon stand with Pogba. Imagine say all the ball we play, they can't they can't go he say this so the band is saying we'll play football again for four years. Now he did 31. By the time that four years go, he's already 35. He will still play again her. But I know lie when I say at the end of the day, my brother, my sister, who see stand with him. Pogba being a good player, no matter what it is. But sometimes there is some kind of tragedy that they happen for my life. What can I say anyway, the past for my life, the guy don't go through a lot. I just want to use this platform for them when I say we are all humans and no matter what you do, wherever you are, however you find yourself, please always make sure that you take a lot of precautions around you because trusting a lot of people is a big problem. Please, please, may God bless you and may God continue to give you wisdom for us ID. We could make the right decisions and some kind of choices there for life as the worker who we'll stay together, we are Ambazonians, we are Southern Cameroonians, building our community, hoping to have a better country, a, to give a better future to our people, learning good things from outside and practicing them in our own community. My name is Moreno Deco, your friend, your humble servant, and your comrade in the struggle. Thank you very much.